So I've got a 2004 Subaru Impressa Outback, and I'm going to attempt to replace the shift light. So right now, I don't have a shift light in this column of, of letters. So somehow we've got to take the center console out and then get access to the, to the light underneath. It's a tiny bulb. I've already bought the bulb. I'll show you the bulb. So, so the part number from Subaru for this bulb, as you can see, is, well, you can see the number. And inside this little piece of cardboard is a tiny, tiny bulb that uh, goes into the wire harness here, into a connector. So, as I said, some I've got to clear the console so we can we can get access. Okay, and I think I think now I'm going to uh, remove this ashtray and just get it out of the way. Okay, so that pulls out. It's got money inside. Awesome. All right, and. I'm wondering if this panel, this front panel, simply pops up. So I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. I don't see any obvious fasteners, so I'm going to try to put a screwdriver in there and see if I can simply pop this, this piece up. The piece of the console from here, just behind the shift, to the back comes up in a separate piece. So if you pull it up, you can pull it up. And get it out of the way like that. You can disconnect this control if you want. Otherwise, just leave it. So now I'm not sure. We're still not sure what's holding. Still not sure what's holding this piece in. I'm going to try to just pull that up as well. But you definitely have to pull the middle piece up first because this has a lip that would never get never get by uh, this this other piece. So now I'm just going to try to pull up on this and see if I have any luck. Oh ho! That is amazing. And I think to get this off, I'm going to have to shift this down into, into neutral. So let me uh, get the key in the car. Otherwise, you'd have to push this bypass here. Okay, so I'll get that. Well, down in drive looks like a good spot. Okay, that is awesome. All right, let me shut this off. Well, I guess I can get it back into park for now. All right now, and you can see where the bulb is, or the connector, and here is the connector that holds the bulb that illuminates these these uh, these letters. So I think it will pull straight down. I'm gonna find out in a second here. And it looks, it actually, it actually looks like like a this. It looks like there's a little clip in that little square right there, and a little clip in that square right there, and I might be able to lift this this plastic housing up. So I just used a little screwdriver to pry this up a little bit over that little clip. And the same thing up here. It might give us a little better look at how that light is embedded. And they probably got clips on the other side. 
There it goes. And then the last clip right here. Okay, that should make it a lot easier to see how that bulb is attached. So now we have this whole little cover loose. So let's take a look again at the other side. Now I'm going to unscrew the shift, getting deeper into this. Free the wire harness up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Look at that. All right, now I can get a plenty good look at the bulb. And I'm going to twist it a little bit. I think I twisted it about 90 degrees. And there it is. Yeah, and now that I've got the bulb out, now that I've got the bulb out, you can see the, the two little tabs on it that obviously lock it into the into this housing. So there's the housing for it. So obviously it's easy to see how the tabs of that bulb have to engage the housing on this on this shift piece. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to and I believe this bulb just simply pulls out of the housing, pulls out of its little connector and we put the new one in. Just pulls right up and out like that. There it is, and now I'll get the new bulb and put it in. And here's the new bulb. This is how it comes from Subaru. Alright, so here it is installed. Just put it through and gave it a, gave it a twist. And now we can just reassemble this. this. This will just click down onto the housing. And so now we'll just take this housing and, and click it back down onto, the, onto these tabs. And there it is, so all four tabs now are secure, so this is back on. Um, I'll wait to I'll wait to uh, screw the handle back on since it's out of the way and and uh, I can put those other pieces on. So next we will. And I guess I'd recommend taking that handle off to start with. It must make everything a little bit easier, I guess. And that way you wouldn't you wouldn't even have to actually shift anything to neutral. You could just leave it in park the whole time, I think. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to just slip this piece back and click it in. Uh, let's see what... And you can see what, what held this thing in place. There's just these little tabs. These little tabs on each side in the front. And uh, and then you've got these little metal clips. One, two, th th three, four. Just to slide this piece in, and then it just simply clicks in. It's amazing. This is almost too easy. Then all we have to do is replace the middle piece and we're done. So basically we just take the front, this middle piece, we put it over the emergency brake, get those little two pegs lined up in the back and in front and then just push everything down and we have this piece back in and 
this little this little decorative piece fell out. I've got to find that and stick it back in. Uh, and basically that's it. And we now have the light fixed. As you can see, if we possibly, if we turn the lights on and make it dark, you can see now we've restored the shifting lights. So that's how to replace your bulb.